Welcome to a new tutorial. In the last video we made a basic 2D world and today I show you how to improve our world design with some cool parallax effects. Alright, and now let's tune up our game with some cool parallax effects. Let's have a look in the asset library now. And um, I think at first we want to change the background. Because our background has some clouds and then we can use uh, some clouds to make them as a parallax effect. But now we need a background without any clouds and I think this clear blue sky looks good. Or maybe much better is this ocean background here. Yeah, let's add the ocean background to the library. And what we can use more. Yeah, yet let's use this ship. Yeah, I know we don't want to make a pirate adventure, but only to show you how it works. And then we use some clouds and I add all of the clouds. Okay, now turn off the asset library. And now let's change the background. At first we drop in the new background. And now let's bring in to the same size like the other background. And move the new background behind the beach, behind the beach um, ground. And now we delete the other background and we do the same thing now. First with Ctrl and C, like a copy and then we can with Ctrl V, we can paste it into the other scenes and then we delete the other background. And we do the same in scene number 3, 4 and 5. And now we drop in the ship into our scene. The size looks good and we move the layer behind the beach ground.
then we go to the node settings from the ship and now we need a move node and we connect the input from the move node with the output from the start node and then on speed on the move node we choose negative 1 on the x direction and give it a try And look there, the ship is moving and this looks very cool. I think uh, negative one is correct the speed. That looks great. But uh, there is one thing and we can change the delete scene threshold into 10,000 because uh, maybe the ship disappears too early and uh, so we can change this a little bit. We just have to play around with it depending on which kind of game you want to make. And now let's drop in some clouds. Size it a little bit more up and then we go to the node settings from the cloud and here we do the same thing. We add a move node, connect input with the output from start node and on the move node on the x direction um, let's try it with negative and 0.2. Oh yeah, <laughs> have a look there. Our cloud is uh, not, we can't see our cloud. We have to change this a little bit and let's move it down and move it behind the ship. And make a preview. And let's move it a little bit down and shrink it down. Great. And I have another cool idea. We can use some fog in our scene that makes it more creepy. Oh no, <laughs> I don't want. I don't want the fuck in the start scene. I I want to use it here. Drop it in again. And we have to move the fog in front of all the layers. Also in front of our character. It's 
make a preview. Oh, the fog is falling down. <laughs> yeah, we have to change. We have to change it into a static. It's dynamic. Now we change this. Also that because it is an object with uh, no collision. Same thing, we add a move node and connect input with output of the start node. And on the x direction, we change the speed. Let's try it with negative 0 and 5. And here is our fog. And look, that looks great. Very cool. You can make a lot of cool things with para this parallax effect. Just try it out. If you found this tutorial was helpful, then give it a like. And if you want to see more of my videos, then subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching!